Hi guys, Andy here. Something slightly different for you today. Um, my brother's ordered, or I think he probably backed on one of the Kickstarter type campaigns, uh, a different phone. It's not an Android phone, but I thought you might be interested to see it anyway. I'm quite interested. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm going to assume something like Jolla. J O L L A. Is that kind of Spanish? Jolla, Jolla. I don't know. There we go. Um, it's available now to buy €399, Euro, so that equates to about £333 British pounds. Um, the specs probably match that kind of price range, well, unless maybe compared to the Nexus 5. Um, so the screen's not quite as um, high pixel density as some of the top end phones right now. Um, it's got an 8 megapixel camera though, 2 megapixel front facing, 2100 milliamp hour battery, um, Corner, Corner Corregras 2. Um, well, anyway, what I'm planning to do, obviously, is open it up, have a look at it, and we'll uh, we'll see together what it's like, basically. There we go. Okay, so here we go. Let's see how's it how's it being taped together. Can we actually push? That? There we go. Look. So, there's the device. It's got a four and a half inch screen. I quite like that, that's quite nice. Anyway, let's put that down for one second. Let's do the boring bit first. Getting started. What? Oh, insert a SIM card. Takes a micro SIM for anyone uh, needing to know. Power key, volume key, headphone. Yeah, I think that's all fairly simple stuff. We shan't worry too much about that. What have we got underneath here? That'll be handy. A European power connector, but it's only just regular USB. Um, can we see on there how many amps? One amp, one amp output. So um, obviously some of the some of the newer devices, the Nexus 5, the Galaxy S4, are taking more than an amp these days. Um, but this one, let's stick with good old-fashioned one amp. That's fine. One year limited warranty. A sticker, holla or However, someone let me know. There's the USB cable, and I assume the battery. So we are going to need that, at least. Let's pop the other bits back together, roughly. There we go. Pop that on the edge there. So, let's have a look at the actual device. Feels quite light on first uh, inspection. That feels kind of plasticky, but I'm not opposed to plasticky. You know, a lot of the Samsung devices are quite plasticky, but I've no problem with that. It keeps sort of the weight down. The weight with battery in is 141 grams, so that's fairly fairly normal. Tell me to open here. There we go. Look straight away. We just gonna just gonna tear the back off. I think there we go. It's all quite angular. It's all quite square. Which again, I quite like. I do quite like angular square designs, so that's not a problem. As you can see, while we've got the back off, if I can get them the right around, as your sim, your micro sim slot. Oh, that's interesting. So I guess you slide in like so. You place a little bit of rubber as a space saver, a cushion. Why would you not just move that to there? I don't know. Anyway, and there's your micro SD slot. Down. Battery should have a bit of juice in, hopefully. Oh, the battery's uh, got a holler on it as well. Look. I don't believe it's got an FC, but then I would say, what's that up there? What does that match up with? I might have to check exactly what that is because there looks to be some kind of circuit board, but I don't see any actual contact points. I suppose those two contact points that might. No, they're going to line up into that, that dip there, so I'm not sure what that bit is. Oh, I like on the corner there, look, it says, can I like, focus? Come on, focus. Focus, please. It says hollow on there, or jolla. Unfortunately, the camera doesn't want to, uh, but there we go. It's kind of cool. So that's a nice little touch, bits like that. Um, so generally, yeah, it's quite, obviously, very angular and square, although... The back to the battery is kind of rounded over that way, whereas the front is flat. And if we look at that side, look, the back is flat. 
and the front is rounded. So they're kind of rotated through 90 degrees. And that's okay. I mean, it feels, it feels good. It, it feels lighter than 141 grams, to be honest. Hit the power, there we go. So I did mention the screen, it's uh, 540 by 960, which works out at 245 pixels per inch. I think a year ago that would have been uh, very, very good. Now it's, you know, it's acceptable. Um, I suppose some, some, uh, some Android users might kind of, oh, only 540p. Uh, now, oh, so now we're so used to sort of 1080p on, on even a five inch screen, but 540 personally, I think that's, that's more than acceptable. I don't know how well you can see the screen there. That looks, you know, that's nice. That looks good to me. Uh, what else have we got? So obviously the headphone jack at the top. That's into the micro USB. Welcome in. Uh, micro USB on the top. There's a microphone of some kind. That might be for noise cancellation. Yeah, apparently has stereo speakers, which I think will be that there at the, at the base. We have obviously the power and the volume rocker on the right hand side. And I don't think any ooh, any buttons on on the left hand side. The eight megapixel camera with the flash, the two megapixel front facing camera, and I'm guessing that there is the oopsie daisy is the light sensor. I don't know what I selected there. English UK, please. Flick the view to the left to go forward. Okay, so we're going across. Yeah, I don't have an eye. Do I? Oh, do I flick it as well? Okay. So it looks like there's some kind of notification LED at the bottom there. Not looking too bright at the moment, but again, you don't want anything too bright because, you know, notifications going off in the night, you don't want illuminating your whole room, do you? So, let's see. Uh, select your favourite colour. I'm very tempted to go red. No, I'm going to go red, but I'm not sure that's going to look good on a, on a screen. I'm going to hit it anyway, and let's see. Yeah, I don't, like, I don't know if it's going to do text that colour. Mind you, I'm not sure that. See, I think that looks a bit nice. We'll go, we'll go with blue. We'll stick with blue. Um, how do I change the time? Well, I don't even know what time it is. It's about five o'clock. I'm going to say it's 5.25. Let's go. Time. Oh, hang on. Now I'm going to select London. It's going to change that, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, uh, the date is wrong as well, I was thinking it here. Oh wait, I don't even know, what are we now, 21st, I can't even remember. 20th, I don't know, whatever, that'll do for now, let's move on. Keep going. My even phone, 5150050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050050
set. Oh. I'm going to turn Wi Fi on. So that's my okay. So I'm going to slide in from the side. That's my app that's running. That works either way. Okay. I can deal with that. How do I can I get to Wi Fi settings? Oh, no, don't remove from favorites. Pull down to connect to the internet. So, give me one second while I log in here. Okay, so I think we're now connected to the internet. How can I, can I like close that? Close all apps, swipe right down from the top. It's down there! Lied to me! Let's have a look in the old... Oh. Oh. Um. Okay. Oh, I keep wanting to press like a back button here, but there's nothing, there's no buttons, there's no buttons at all. Kind of strange, I suppose. Um, okay, I'll sign up an account and we'll just see what that allows me to do. Okay, so we've got an account added. Um, this, I believe, is the store. I've not particularly any idea. Android support. All right, so let's go with that. Thank you. Is it, in fact, installing? I can't tell. Is that? Is that? So that's. Oh no, I don't know. Oh, okay. Got to be careful where you're pulling down because you're selecting at the same time. So I thought there's a Dropbox app. What's that? Dropbox client for sale fish. Okay, uh, install. All right, so I'll have a little play and I'll come back to you. I suppose the best thing to do. Okay, so here's here's a point. So I've installed the sale box, which is Dropbox. It looks suspiciously like just um, kind of a web interface, basically. Success. And that is um, all my folders. So let's just have a look and see if I can install. Uh, an Android app because I'm under the impression that you can that doesn't seem to do a lot does it when I tap on so maybe not ok let's download it how do I see my I don't want multi section I want right so that's that's pending. That's uh, well. I'll come back to you again in a second. Well, I've been waiting five minutes and it's still just pending. So I'm kind of given up on on that one. So, um, I did just see kind of the lock screen. Well, it kind of looks like that actually. And then so we go to the dialer. Enter phone number. Why would you not just start with the dialer? I wonder. Seems a little, a little odd, if you ask me. So I've got these apps open now. There we go. It just seemed weird not having buttons. Hello, <laughs> have I killed the phone? But I guess maybe. Uh, oh, I thought I was killing all apps. In fact, I was perhaps just turning the phone off. So how has that changed? Then I wonder. Um, okay, Let's look at the camera. It's a fairly simple, slightly Android looking interface. That's fine. Let's see how quickly uh, the shutter acts. And also, let's see perhaps what, what image. How do we get to our images, I wonder? Well, there's some of the settings within the camera. Video, continuous autofocus, automatic white balance or flash. Okay, um, so if now, like, how do I come back out? There's no. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, no. System update available. I probably should have done that. But it's a little late now to tell me. I just want to have a look at that photo, really. Where is it? Okay, I thought actually it overexposed it massively with the flash, but I don't know too bad. So as I said, it's eight megapixel. Did, oh, oh crap! Call the power button. My, my fault. My fault. But now I've got to find. That was it, wasn't it? Whose shoes? It's quite responsive, I would say. That's pretty, pretty good. And the speed and fluidi fluidity of it, generally you would feel like you were using a reason behind Android, I feel. Um, I presume that's just that just fills up with your apps and app drawer. Let's see if... No, it's still pending. Look, that's clocking on towards seven or eight minutes now. Anyways, I've, uh, I've waffled on quite a bit. I'm, I'm sure it said... Did I, did I remember it wrong? I'm sure it said wipe down from the top of the... That's just turning the screen off. What was, what was from the bottom up? Is that what it was? That's no, is that no, that's notifications. Pull down to download. I guess I should do that. I know this happened when I did the uh, Firefox phone. Everyone told me off because I, oh, you should have done the update before. But I've only just seen that update. I'm not really, <laughs> I'm not re-recording really all that. Um, so I realise I've waffled on quite a bit with probably not that much useful information, in fact. But. It's giving you a chance and me a chance to have a look around the Holla phone. Um, if you want to try it yourself, uh, like I said, it's only £330, so not a massive amount. I like the design of it, the feel of it's pretty good. It's definitely very slick and smooth. Um, I think perhaps when you get the hang of the sliding in and out from different areas rather than buttons, then that's, that's probably fine as well. Um, I suppose we can have a quick look. Oh, is that my battery power at 56? I haven't seen that before. I think... This is a browser, but I couldn't be sure. New tab, please. Anyone? No? Maybe not? We'll go to Jala, shall we? Holla? Holla? What's the, oh, that's part of the page. But, I mean, that. Well, there we go. Look. Apps for your channel. Android and native apps. Jala brings you the best of both worlds, super intuitive sailfish OS apps and the latest Android apps. So it should, I'll have to maybe, I'll, I'll see if I can do a follow up video at some point when uh, when my brother's had time to to play with it himself and we know a bit more about it. Come on, rotate. Oh, that's interesting, it's not going to rotate. That's like we're stuck with it there. There's a volume bar at the top of the screen, that's quite nice. It does annoy me sometimes on Android when it pops up in the, in the middle there. Probably a mod somewhere, mind you, that can do that for me. There's our stereo speakers. Not massively loud, but then I don't know how loud the video is supposed to be. Anyway, so... How do we... How do we see... How do I... Yeah. So there we are. Oh, what did I, did I move? What was that? Oh, search the store. Fair enough. Go away again. What else was in the settings for that matter? So we're in the land. How do we come... I keep saying I'm, I'm going to finish and then I, then I waffle on some more. My apologies. If you're bored by now, you'll have turned off and moved on to more interesting videos. Uh, oh, developer mode. Look, what do we get in developer mode? Psu. Allow developer updates. Okay. So we got our text input. Chinese fuzzy pinyin. Oh no, is that, I'm going to select that. I hope it didn't. Yeah, that's no, get me out of it before I break something. About product. What? 1.7 over 13.7. Oh, memory usage, fair enough, right. Um, okay, that's, that was too much text for me to. How do I. Um, how did I do that? I thought back was was back not was back that oh I went from the outside didn't I? Uh, data counters reset device device lock backup and sync fair enough. Uh, fly mode display what do we get to see on display? Oh, Brian, let's 
Did that change? Is that changing? Oh, it's because I've got automatic. I'm not sure I can tell any difference, or do I have to then come out? It's the same, isn't it? Whoopsie doodle. Oh, there, woo, it got darker. So it's just, <laughs> it just needed time to think about it, maybe. That's weird, I'm not sure. Anyway, so there we go. Really well, try and finish now rather than keep waffling. But hey, it's fun, isn't it, to play with? To play with new devices. Nice little sailboat on the front. So there we go. Holler, maybe, Jolla. I'll turn off quick. Um, 399, uh, 3.99 euros. The website, oh, I should have told you that really. Although I did go to it just now, so it's just Jolla or Holler.com. Um, if I can, I'll do a few more videos later on. Like I said, it's not actually my device, so it's always a little bit tricky. There we go. I'm done. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.